A homicide suspect is in police custody after an hours long standoff in Pittsburgh's West End. And now we're learning more about the victim who was shot and killed yesterday. Megan Chiller is live with the new details just coming out this hour. Megan. Good morning, Heather. We just got our hands on the paperwork, the criminal complaint, and we also just learned the name of the shooting victim. His name is Tamon Hatchin, and he is 24 years old. Police say he is the victim that was found lying on the sidewalk at the intersection of Marlin Street and Brownsville Road early yesterday afternoon. Also new this morning, police are releasing that they have an eyewitness to this crime. The witness said that the person was walk, talking to Hatchin and walking up the street with Hatchin whenever a suspect yelled across the street and said that he wanted to talk to the victim. The eyewitness said that a fight happened and that the suspect shot the victim three times. The suspect then fled the scene, and that is when the witness called 911. The witness then looked at eight photos, cooperating with police, looked at eight photos and pointed out the picture of 32-year-old Earl Jackson and said with 110% certainty that Jackson was the man who pulled the trigger. Police ended up then searching for Jackson. They found him in a home on Steuben Street, and they say he was hiding in a garbage can in the home's basement. The home they say believe, but they believe belonged to his sister, and he was staying there against their will after he was released from jail. We also learned a little bit more about Jackson, that he was convicted in 2010. He was charged with aggravated assault, which means he is a felon, so he is unable, not allowed to carry or use a firearm at all. So they say right now he is facing homicide charges as well as two firearms related charges. We're going to be bringing you the very latest throughout the course of the morning and continue to look through the paperwork. But for now, we're putting live outside the Allegheny County Jail. I'm Megan Schiller, KDKA TV Morning News.